This is IBM Museum. Just a short video here as I prepare a um, Bermuda Mall 77 planer for Curious Mark. I want to uh, go through and um, just kind of show what I've what I've got benched. I'll I'll go through and uh, I do over on the left. I have a a bunch of um, of um, stuff, including that box marked Bermuda planers and risers. And um, I've got the system. I'll probably go through and, and try and get this going. Uh, switch in a coin cell battery. And uh, I've been moving stuff around. Thankfully, uh, my mom had a few. I didn't have to go out shopping um, for the 2032 batteries that I'll put in there. But I do have the ability to go through and to, to bench. Um, I, have, I have a power supply over on the far left-hand side there and a, a front panel to go through and be the power switch and everything else. I can vent something out um, of these planers. And, of course, you always want to go through and test them with the, um, the risers in place. And the risers actually hold the the coin cell battery that does the configuration. And it's going to be easier, even though I can I have use of the diskette drives of um, the systems. I can kind of compile a system together uh, to configure. But at least these are nice that they're what they call IML. And that's this uh, you know SCSI drive that just has a side partition in addition to all your operating system and everything else. Um, it's got a, a, a small partition on there that takes the place or supplants the reference diskette um, configuration. It's uh, sometimes called a convenience partition, and it's only on certain uh, later IBM systems with uh, the SCSI drive subsystem. And um, it's where... Um, and that was visible in Curious Mark's um, uh, earlier videos. I think probably like the part one, maybe the part two, they had, uh, you know, they're getting into the system partition. And I have these labels around, and I always talk about these things lose their stick. But this is probably st stuck on this, this particular drive or another one, that Bermuda 7677 IML. And it's because um, there was a smaller space saver system, 3x3, three three, that was the Mall 76, a larger 5x5 five five desktop system that was the Mall 77. And these share the cases just like the early um, Model 56 and 57 that I featured on video. Much like the Model 56 and 57, they also have separate planers. We're working with the Bermuda planer in this instance. The other planer is called the Lacuna. And probably where a lot of my planers and risers um, derive from. And because those are, um, the risers are paired with the planers. They're, they're, they're the riser of the of the Bermuda planer is different from the Lacuna planer for both the Mall 76, which is three expansion slots, or the Mall 77, which is five expansion slots. And what a lot of people were doing is um, there were Lacuna planers and risers that were offered on places like eBay um, where you went through and you could do a swap into the uh, Bermuda system. You could put, you could replace that planer and riser and um, they were just almost the same level and they both had their their features bomb or their, their benefits. Um, but that's what a lot of people did and that's, that's likely where I accumulated a lot of um, the um, the planers and risers I have here. Now, I also even found a, um, and this is in particular to the, um, to the Bermuda um, planer, 
And even for the um, uh, for the Mall 77, apparently they they looks like they had a different manual um, for the Mall 76. But I got to get this scan because this is a um, user handbook, and I've had this for some time, and um, to go through and um, this is marked as being the Mall 77 system library and it's got what appear to be a couple booklets in there it'll be good to scan and um, installing options and users handbook oh and then setup so it'll be interesting to scan these these manuals and get them uh, in PDF format I got a little extra badge for the for the Bermuda 77. That's uh, just, as we saw in Curious Marks videos. Um, that's how these things were badged. And the other option that I do have, I don't know if it talks about it in this um, in any of those booklets, but I've got this. For the machine over on the right hand side it's up on this um, stand and these were a little challenging to find I I didn't remember that I had these around and they go in a, um, a particular way they go on the one side you're not able to go on the on the other side so they they sit a particular way and they give a little uh, iconized thing with the slots and actually these slots there's no not any um worry about finding which um which of these vents that you're gonna um that they go into because they actually go into the outer um their space far enough apart that these these go into the outside slots and they just lock in place and this is actually fru uh, 92F0000. So just kind of a real neat thing that um, that puts your your Mall 77 like this and um, puts it upright so it saves a little of the space um, on your desktop. But I thought that was worthwhile showing. Um, the badge when when you do have it up on the stand these are even designed to um, to uh, rotate so they uh, they show the the right side up and so I will be going through and um, um, working on on this system I'll probably, like I say, I'll probably go through and and get it going here, this bomb system with the CD-ROM. And um, that needs some, really needs some RetroBrite on it. Um, now, the one thing I was getting into for these, for these um, case stands, the one detriment of these systems can be where the, probably what I'll do, I don't see that showing up any better necessarily. Well, it shows up better on the on the um, the webcam, and you're seeing the, back on the the back screen uh, of what I got my camcorder off to the side um, showing. Anyway, I could put that up in, on the screen, but these uh, rubber pads on the the um, model 40SX and 57 and 77 cases they can get, um, the feet can get really, really sticky. They just uh, disintegrate. And I even have, I think, barely on camera. Well, I guess that's my hydraulic jack. I've got a, some Gooby Gone that's down, it's down here if my leash of my microphone will allow me to get out my Gooby Gone. Um, but yeah, these go through and they're an absolute mess. And 
I'm not sure. I don't think I worked with this one, but um, somebody did, and it's actually it's got all the um, sticky rubber stuff um, removed out of there. So it's really nice. And there's, of course, you can just buy um, rubberized feet that you can put in these uh, once you get all that cleaned out, all that junk cleaned out of there. But that's the, the one aspect of uh, at least the stand puts these things upright and they don't go through. Um, I've actually had a stack of these where they go through and they'll stick to another one another on the uh, case tops and um, and make it hard to get them separated and and work with them. So one of the other things I'll see with this system too is whether um, the XGA card, probably what I can do, let's get that down out of the way for kind of looking in. Now I'll bring up the camcorder picture. And so, you know, you can see the, the XGA2 adapter, just like Curious Mark has on his uh, Bermuda. And that's a really common video board that was on, video adapter that was on these. Uh, I do have an alternate adapter, and I may just throw that in the, in the box anyway. And that was used more in the server setup. Uh, and it, it just works in a lot of arrangements better than the XGA2. It's less capable as it were, but it's um, just a more standardized adapter that can work with things because what I have to do, my, my clear click box that I do for my video stuff back here, um, I'll have to see if this will go through in the XGA2 uh, adapter, whether that'll work, um, whether the clear click will want to work with that. Uh, it should, but if not, I'll, I'll just have to pull out a, a display and everything else. So I've got to get the bench set up a little bit um, before I actually start uh, prepping the, um, the system for, for getting it to, um, to Curious Mark. And that'll take a, uh, you know, probably not as short as a day. Probably take a couple days, maybe a few days, uh, to get over to him. I do have, um, I do. I went and picked up all the, uh, the uh, boxes over there. The priority mail visible on the far uh, left. But um, I can go through and work with things to get a. A planer out to them. I've I've taken off the other items off the bench temporarily. I've still got work on the the model 53 SLC2 and the model 33s, um, but um, got to go through and work with some diskettes. Like I've got the one diskette there, and um, just start uh, plugging away, getting this getting this project uh, finished with, and getting it off the uh, bench. I don't believe I've done the system information tool on this one, and that might be another short video that's that's going to come up that I can do for this as well. Um, and at least here, I'm I'm getting better about saying short videos. We're just coming up right on 14 minutes. We'll be able to wrap this up in just 50 minutes. I'll be able to get it up. Uh, I had to cool the the shop here a little bit earlier uh, just so I can do the recording. And uh, it is raining outside and everything else, but I'm going to get this up, get it viewable, and then uh, work to get uh, that planer tested for Curious Mark and try and get it out today before the post office uh, um, closes. So I'll be playing a little bit of beat the clock. So let me continue on my merry way and merry day. Um, if you enjoy this video, click on that like button. I've really enjoyed since Curious Mark uh, went through and um, did a shout out to my channel um, approximately 12 hours ago. Uh, I've actually picked up 
at least 20 subscribers, verified uh, subscribers to my channel, and that is wonderful. I mean, I've probably got a lot more views um, for even the people that aren't subscribing, but you know, that's fine too. I would love to get those subscribers, and it's really bumped my numbers up in a, in a very good way, um, and that's what I was looking for. So if you do like, you know, this sort of content, if you've come over from Curious Mark's channel, you know, you can still be subscribed to both of us and even more. Um, but in the particular IBM world, you know, um, that's going to be a primary focus of, of my channel. And you can go through and watch the, the videos I have up and I'm going to go through and have a lot more content up. But please subscribe to my channel if you can recommend it to your friends and that's great i, I would love to get up even uh, a thousand subscribers would be great um that's going to happen slowly but it's going to happen so that's all i have for now this is ibm museum thank you